Hi, I'm Sally Norris, Vice President of Global Security for NBC News. Welcome to NBCU Academy. Today I'm going to talk about how to stay safe while covering civil unrest. The first thing you want to do is prepare. As a journalist, you probably already have some experience in looking up information. Those same skills apply here. If it's a planned protest, you'll want to check a few things. One, who is organizing the protest? And two, who is attending the protests? Research the protest, the organizers and the attendees. Pay close attention to any recent conflict history as that may help you determine a baseline of how the protests may go. Three, look into how local law enforcement has dealt with large crowds during protests in the past. Have they used tear gas, pepper spray, rubber bullets? This may give you a better idea of how law enforcement will react to the protests that you are covering. Four, check in with local law enforcement if the organizers have attained a permit for the protest. If not, the event most likely is not legal, meaning there's more potential for danger. Five, if you can go to the site of the protest a day or two before, go scope out the area. Be aware of how protesters have played out in the same location in the past. You'll want to map out exit routes, safe areas like the local precinct, the local fire station, the local hospital. Avoid chain stores and luxury stores. Sometimes there's looting, you don't want to be near them. So you've done your research and now the day of the protest has arrived. Here are some things you'll want to do before heading out the door. Wear neutral clothing. Avoid wearing certain colors like all black or logos that may get you mistaken for a protester. Also, avoid wearing logos of the news outlet you're working for if the attitude towards the press is negative. Wear sturdy shoes that you can run in and that will protect your feet in case of fireworks goes off on the ground next to you. And don't wear any ponytails, scarves, dangling jewelry, or anything that can be pulled. The same goes for press pass, if you have one. Just make sure it's easily accessible when you need to reach for it. If you expect there to be tear gas or pepper spray, wear a layer of disposable clothing that you can throw away if contaminated. Gas and respirator masks provide good protection as well, and avoid wearing contact lenses. If you expect there to be rubber bullets or other projectiles such as rocks, water bottles, or fireworks, wear a helmet and some kind of eye protection like ballistic goggles. And if you expect there to be sound cannons or flashbangs, wear gun-raiding ear protectors. You'll also want to bring a small bag of supplies if law enforcement allows. Some things to include are a first aid kit, water, snacks, portable charger, important phone numbers, and an extra change of clothes. And before you leave, make sure that all your electronics are fully charged. When you're at the protest, the number one thing to keep in mind is situational awareness. Be mindful of your surroundings at all times. Where are the protesters? Where are law enforcement officials? The last place you want to be is between the protesters and law enforcement, especially if things get out of control. You'll want to stay on the edge of the crowds in general. In case you need to get out quickly, you can always film the protesters as they walk by. And if you want to interview a specific protester, make sure you do it away from the center of the crowd. Constantly scan your surroundings, not just in front of you, but behind you and above you as well. Those escape routes that you made a, a day or two ago, make sure they're still viable. And also keep an eye out for backups in case plans change. Oftentimes, you can sense if tensions are rising. Are the crowds getting louder? Are law enforcement starting to gather? Pay attention to the clues, like law enforcement putting on their gas masks. That might mean they're about to deploy tear gas. If you're in the street, you may be subject to arrest. Or if they're coming with zip ties, that might mean that they are about to start arresting people. Keep an eye out for anything that could pose a threat from protesters too. Things can happen quickly. So if law enforcement starts moving in on the protesters, make no sudden movements and keep your hands visible and open. Press, 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 press. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Identify yourself as press. Press, press. Don't argue with law enforcement. Just move out of the way. Stay in constant contact with your newsroom. If things are getting dangerous, 
get to a safe location and alert your newsroom of the situation. Most importantly, safety first, story second. If you don't feel safe, trust your gut and get out. And don't forget your actions as a journalist also represent the organization you are working for. I hope you learned something about staying safe while covering civil unrest. For NBCU Academy, I'm Sally Norris. Thanks for watching.